Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'll be sharing with you my favorite grays. I've got 15 different grays from in 15 different styles from eight different brands. These are grays that I wear the most often. I love wearing grays. Let's get started. I do want to let you know that all of my wigs are from Wig Studio One. I have reviewed the majority of these. This is not a wig review. I just want to show you the different grays and why, what about them I prefer uh, in each of these brands. I'm going to start out with the one I am wearing. This is Mellow in Chrome RT1B. With Chrome RT1B, the, the big, the, the major difference with, with this color as opposed to any of the other ones that I'm going to show you is that we have a black root. That is what the 1B indicates. So you, you do have that black root and we have a little bit, uh, it goes through as you can see. And we have a blend of like an ashy blonde, um, maybe a little bit of cream in there to give it some dimension, but it's basically gray. The, down, the downside, to this color even though I love it I have to let you know what I feel the downside is is that we have a black root now Aesthetica has they they've changed this color a little bit this mellow is pretty old but I think the new mellow has or the new chrome RT1B they've added some of the grays during uh, on the hairline this is my older one, and I think this is the downside to it, is that there is some knotting. Aesthetica, ha the wigs are horse workhorses, the lace fronts are beautiful, they have lots of stretch. You can't go wrong with Aesthetica. However, with this color, if you are a little bit iffy on the knot, you may not care for this one unless you get one of the newer styles where they've added i don't know if they've done it to all of the styles but i know on some of the newer styles that i've tried they have added some of the some of the lighter fibers but nevertheless i still love the color it doesn't the knots don't bother me i like i like to match my my root to my brows so i think this was my first gray that i actually had i think it's really pretty and I love mellow. I think this is a perfect wig, minimal permatease, light density. It's just, you know, left mono part. Perfect. I neglected neglected to mention that I will leave timestamps and I'll, I'm divvying it up by brands. This is also by Aesthetica. This is Joned and this is in the color uh, Silver Sun RT8. With Silver Sun, the RT8 indicates that we have an eight root. So the root is going to be much lighter than we found on Chrome RT1B. Lots of gray here, lots of silver in this color, hence the name Silver Sun. So we do have some dimension. This is not a one dimensional color. We do have some dimension because there is a little bit of that creamy blonde in there. Very, very little. The majority of this color is silver. So if you're looking for silver, you want a lighter, a lighter root. Silver Sun RT8 is a beautiful color, and I think it looks really pretty on Jones. Also, uh, Jones is a, a, a regular cap, and we do have some permatees here, but the density on Jones is light. All right, how many of you were saying, okay, here she comes with Liana? Yes, Liana and Moonstone. This is by Renee of Paris. I only have one Renee of Paris in these grays that I'm going to show you, but Moonstone is one of my favorites. With Moonstone, you're going to have a, a brown root, but the root is ashy. It, you're not getting a warm root here, and the color is going to be a gray, 
but it's also blended with a light ashy blonde. So you do have, again, once again, you have the dimension, really, really pretty color from Renee of Paris. And for those of you that want to know, Liana has a basic cap. I think it is so pretty because you could wear it so many different ways and you know, it's, it's a lighter density, minimal permatease. I think it's perfect for every day if that's what you're looking for. And this color, a moonstone is just beautiful. It's actually probably the second or the third one that I have. Now I'm going to jump to Amore. This is Veda by Amore in the color Illumina R. With Illumina R, you're going to have a gray that is almost a white or maybe it's, it's a blend of a silver with a white and the root on it almost leans blue. It, maybe it has a blue tinge to it. It doesn't look blue but that's the impression that I'm getting. Maybe it's the clothes that I'm wearing, but if you want a very bright silvery gray, almost white with that darker root, I think Illumina R is absolutely beautiful. And this style Veda is so pretty. We have a full mono top. I can't, we have a full mono top and a very thin lace on the front. This is the only one that I have from Main Attraction. This is Showgirl in the color Sunflower. Sunflower is very, it's almost identical to 10, uh, to 10, 6, 13 GR from Henry Margu. With this color Sunflower or 10, 6, 13 GR, now you're going to have a blend. If you're looking for a gray, but it's blended with a blonde, with a, with a warm, or a sandy blonde, maybe you're a blonde and you're wanting to jump into the grays, I think that Sunflower or 10613 GR is a perfect color because it's not pure gray as the previous ones that I've shown you, but rather a nice blend with some blonde in it. It's very dimensional. And of course, with main attraction, as we have with Henry Margot, we have impeccable lace front just beautiful. They bring that blonde and that gray all the way to the hairline. And we do have, we have a medium brown root. So you're not going to have that stark root, but it is a little bit darker. I absolutely love Showgirl. I love the lack of permatease. I like the light density. I think it's perfect. And this color sunflower, I, these are my favorite from Henry Mark, well, from Main Attraction, this is my favorite. This is the only gray that I'm sh going to show you from Raquel Welch. This is SS Sugar Licorice, and I'm showing it to you on Watch Me Wow. This is the color of my hair. If you had dark brown hair or your original or black as my hair was black and you're starting to go gray or you, you are, you have about 50% of gray as I do, then this may be very well what your, what your color looks like. This is if, when I let my hair grow out, and I don't dye it, this is exactly what it looks like, minus the darker root that, that we find on SS Sugar Licorice. If you are, have dark hair, you're starting to go gray, and you want that salt and pepper look, I think that Sugar Licorice from Raquel Welch is just the perfect color. It, I think it looks very natural, to me, it, it, it just seems like, all right, I've let my grays grow out. I had dark hair and now I have that salt and pepper look. I think it's perfect.
Let's jump now to Henry Margot. This is Athena in 3856 GR. With 3856 GR, we're going to have a blend of an ashy brown, a light ashy brown. That's your 38. And it's blended in with the 56, which is the gray. The GR indicates that we have a gradient or a root, is how Henry Margot puts it. And the gradient just comes and transitions through. Athena has a full monotop top and a lace front. This is a very well blended color between the ashy brown and the, and the grays. So again, if you have a lighter brown and you're, and you're wanting to go from that light brown, ashy brown to the grays, this would be a great color to go to because it, you, that's the blend that you're going to have here. It's a nice dimensional gray. I think it is absolutely perfect. And Athena is beautiful with the uh, full mono top. And as you can see, the lace front is gorgeous. And that gray comes right up and the light and the ashy brown just come right up to the, to the hairline. Really, really pretty. And as you can see, I could, if I leave some of my hair out, it's going to match. This is Fiona from Henry Margot, and this is in the color 10613 GR. Very similar color to Sunflower, almost like that. I think they're exactly the same, actually, as Sunflower from Main Attraction. I know that these are not pure grays, but I wanted to add them into this collection because I have many viewers that have that blonde still in their hair and they want to add a little bit of gray and not be totally gray and i think that's what we find in 10 613 gr we do have a beautiful dimensional color with some warm in it there's some very very light ashy blonde in this color and we do have a a uh, gradient color so we do have a light brown root Again, I think it's a perfect color if you are transitioning to grays. And I just love Fiona. I think it's so pretty. <laughs> now let's jump to Ellen Villa. This is a, a newer one of the grays for Ellen Villa. This is stone gray rooted, and I'm showing it to you on Girl Mono, very popular style in, in Ellen Villa. With stone gray rooted, we have a blend of a 56, a 60, and I believe it's 58. What we have here is a blend of grays, but that 60 is white. So you're going to have a beautiful dimensional color, and we have a little bit again of that sand blonde or that very very light ashy brown perhaps well we have the light ashy brown on the root and then it just transitions down beautifully beautiful dimensional color because of this blend of the different whites and the different grays in it and a little bit of that blonde so if you don't want something so stark as we find with Illumina R or Moonstone or, uh, or you don't want as much contrast, you don't want salt and pepper as we find on sugared licorice, Stone Gray uh, Rooted is a beautiful, beautiful color from Ellen Villa. Something that I neglected to mention with with uh, this one, and it applies to the other ones that I'm going to show you, with Ellen Villa, you're, you're going to have an impeccable lace front. They, Ellen Villa brings that gray to the front, so you're not going to have the knotting as we found, for example, on Chrome RT1B from Aesthetica. With Ellen Villa, you're going to have a very natural hairline, even though we do have somewhat of a root here. 
This is a, a spray from Ellen Villa, and this is in the color Silver Blonde Rooted. With Silver Blonde Rooted on a spray, we're going to have a 60, we're going to have a 1001, and we're going to have a 24. The 24 is your very, very light, almost blonde or a dark blonde root, which transitions through and blends with the, with the rest of the wig. We have that 60, which is a white, and we have a 1001. I believe that's the silver in it. So you have a beautiful dimensional color, lots of gray here, lots of silver, but, but it is a dimensional color due to the blonde, to that light, uh, dark blonde or dark blonde or very light brown that we have at the root. And it comes beautifully to the lace front. So it's all blended in. It is a really pretty uh, gray if you are wanting to lean more towards the white. The silver blonde rooted is absolutely a stunning, stunning color from Ellen Villa. And this is Nerano from Ellen Villa in the color Middle Gray Shaded. With Middle Gray Shaded, we have a 38, a 48, and a 36. So let me break it down for you. We have a thir that 38, that is your, your light ashy brown. And see it right there? And we have the very lighter gray on the front, which is your 40, 48. And then your 36 is that blend between the light ash brown and the gray. If you need something, you're going from a light ash brown and you're wanting to transition into the, into the grays, I think this is perfect. I think it looks natural with the white kind of on the front and then the back we have a darker color. We have that darker, uh, well, darker in comparison because what it is, it's a light ash brown. Just a beautiful, beautiful color from Ellen Villa and this style is so easy to wear. This is Taboo in Salt Pepper Mix. I didn't purchase this one. A friend bought it for herself and she didn't care for it on her and she gave it to me and I just wanted to make you aware of that. In Salt Pepper Mix in Ellen Villa, we have a beautiful blend of just as the name implies, salt and pepper mix. We, it almost appears to have a little bit more salt than pepper, where in Sugared Licorice from Raquel Welch, we have a very even blend of that salt and pepper. But with salt pepper mix from Ellen Villa, now we are having more, more of the gray, more of that white color. And it's almost like, okay, I'm almost completely white. I'm almost completely gray. I still have some of my dark hair. So that is what this reminds me of, the salt and pepper mix from Ellen Villa. And this style taboo, I think it is absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to end with Tressalore. This is Trend in the color 5660 R8. With 5660 R8, we have that root of eight, which transitions down and is blended with the gray, which is the 56, and the 60, which is the white. It doesn't appear white, and it doesn't appear so gray. It has a lot of dimension because that eight is brought down and it transitions and it almost appears as if it starts out darker and then just lightens up and blends with the rest of the wig. I think it is beautiful. I think Trend is a gorgeous style. We have a full mono top, a lace front, and as with Tressalore, we have beautiful lace front even when we have a darker root. I think this color is perfect. If you're blonde, you're transitioning to a gray, you're almost gray, but you were a blonde, this color, I think you will absolutely love. I know I do, and I'm not a blonde. <laughs>
This is Charlie by Tressalore in dark smoke gray. With dark smoke gray, we have that dark root, almost a black. However, unlike Chrome RT1B, which is quite stark, in dark smoke gray, it's going to transition. You don't have any stark um, demarcations, really any, you know, that it's, that you could really point out, okay, this is where the black ends and this is where the, the, this, the gray begins. With dark smoke gray, it transitions through beautifully. This is, in my opinion, it is a true gray, but it, it, it does have dimension because that darker root just comes through and transitions into a much lighter color beautiful. You also don't have any knotting on the front. You have a nice blend here of the dark and the blonde. I think Charlie is so pretty. If you're looking for a shorter little bob, I think Char Charlie is perfect. And I love dark smoke gray. And I'm going to end up with perhaps my favorite style and, and gray. While I love them all, all the grays that I have shown you, be, and that's why I have them in my collection, but I have to tell you, three-toned gray from Tressalore on Undercut Bob has to go my personal favorite. At, while I love them all, this has got to be one of my favorites. For 2023 three-tone gray we have a 52 38 49 r8 the 38 in this color is once again your light ash brown which is blended in and what we have we have it as you can see that it's that dark ash brown underneath in the blend, we have that 52, we have a 49, so that those are your lighter grays and your darker grays, and it's all blended, but on the front, we're going to have the more lighter gray. I think it is stunning, just stunning. I love, this is the third undercut bob that I have. I believe I, re, I reviewed it in 3231, which is a red. I love the style. The front is done beautifully because Tressalore blended their light ash brown with some of the grays, but you don't have that stark white or gray on the front. It's just blended so incredibly naturally. I just took this out of the box a few days ago, so I haven't messed with it. And right now it's falling in my face, but I couldn't leave this one out because I just, I just think it's beautiful. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope this video was helpful if you're trying to choose a gray or maybe you just wanted to see the grays because you don't wear grays. I, either way, I hope the video was helpful and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.